hello beautiful people this video is going to be about how to style your TWA and how to achieve the perfect twist out if you are interested in this video stay tuned well hello beautiful people you could have been anywhere in the world but you are here with me and I definitely appreciate that. To all of my new people stopping by my channel, hi you guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified each time I post a video. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey y'all. All right, so like I said, this video is about styling your TWA and doing the perfect twist out. If you don't know, I did the big chop a month ago, so it's my one month anniversary. You can find that video right here but yeah i have done the big chop and i have been figuring out different ways to style it and figuring out what my hair loves and i think i have it down to a science at this point so this video is going to be about that and also just a growth check for my one month post big chop so yeah super excited so stay tuned so you can see how i achieve this style Okay, y'all, so I have freshly washed hair and I have it in this shower cap to keep in the moisture until it's time for me to actually do my hair. And so what I like to use on my hair is this, which I like to oil my scalp with this Jamaican black castor oil. It's $3.99. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. I also have my spray bottle of water. I have a rat tail comb and also my Demon brush. And I just purchased this recently. This is the ORS Curls Unleashed Shea Butter and Honey. I love this. This is really good for my hair. And I also mix that. I put this in this container that I got from the dollar store. And I mix my oil as well as the curls unleashed in here. And I just use this to go on top of my hair. And then my favorite product is going to be Bella Curls. Um, Bella Curls Coconut Cream Curl Divine Defining Cream. I love this. I got this from Dollar General. It has zero sulfates dyes, gluten, um, yeah, pretty much best thing since peanut butter. And this actually makes my curls pop. And it also says safe for color treated hair and it's for curly, coily, or wavy hair. So yeah, I'll link this below on where you can get that. I think I've seen that you can get this from Target and this is what it looks like on the inside. So I've already washed and conditioned my hair, so now I am going to show you how I achieved my twist. Alright, so I'm just going to remove my shower cap. And this really makes one month since I did the big chop. So you can see, let's just do a quick length check. So right here, that's not bad. Yeah. So what I like to do is just make sure that my hair is wet. So I'm spraying. And then I will go in with my Jamaican castor oil and just align my scalp. And edges. So then take some of this. So as mentioned, this is the curls unleashed and a little bit of oil mixed together. And I'm just gonna take just a little bit and add it to my hair and definitely try and saturate it, including the roots to definitely make my curls pop. And you can see my curls popping. Alright, so, and since I want to wear a side part, I will go ahead and part my hair with my rat tail comb. I 
I forgot to tell you, you will need clips. So I'm just sectioning my hair in parts because it's easier for me to maintain the area that I'm working on. So I just twist my hair up and then apply a clip to it. And then I'll just move to the next section. I do this all over my head so that way it's not overwhelming when I'm actually doing my twist out because it can definitely get messy real fast. I have my hair separated and I'm just going to add some Bella curls just to the area that I'm working on and I'm going to finger detangle that into my hair as well. I try not to use a comb or a brush that much when I am doing my twist out. I just like to use my fingers. I felt a little bit of tangle, so I'm going in with my dim and brush real quick. So I'm just gonna section a piece of my sectioned hair, and I'm just gonna, as you see, just move the Bella curls down all the way through my hair. And I like to do a twist, tighten, twist, tighten method. And so as you see, I just keep tightening each time I do my twist. And this will help me achieve a very tighter curl, especially in the back, because I like to wear my hair in a more of a tapered look. Don't worry about the product. I know you can see the white product right there on my hair. It will definitely dry. Um, or if you are just annoyed by it, you can take just a damp cloth and just dab it. So that way that residue or the extra conditioner isn't showing on your twist. After I'm done twisting, I like to give my hair a little curl at the end. And as you can see, my hair is already curly and it's super tight thanks to the shrinkage. Also, this video is not sponsored at all by Bella Curls, but let me tell you, I definitely love their product and I have no complaints. It's very light on my hair. And like I said, I just use this pretty much with the ORS and it is a amazing you guys if you haven't gotten this product and you are natural definitely get it especially for 4c type hair like y'all it's the best and so i just repeat the same process all over you can do your curls tighter in the front or looser i kind of like to do a mix just for you know definition and volume and right here what i'm doing is just doing my little side curls um i like doing this because it adds just a little bit of character to my twist out and as you can see i'm doing the two strand twist and tighten method so twist tighten twist and tighten and then just do a little curl at the end and boom there you go make sure when you're doing your twist out that you twist your hair in the way that you want your curls to fall i like to do this part right here um in a two strand twist cornrow and so as you can see i'm still doing the twist tighten twist tighten method but i like to do it this way so that way the hair is away from my face and I can kind of pin it so that way you can see my baby hairs or flyaways, whatever you want to call it. I like to do that right here. So I just do it all the way down until where my hair ends. And I'm just doing a finger detangle method as well. So that way any knots that may be in there, I am definitely getting them out. So it is about seven hours later and I'm just going to go ahead and remove my bonnet. So as you can see, my twists are every which away, but that is definitely okay. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Jamaican black castor oil and I'm just going to apply that to my fingertips because I like to untwist my hair with oil on my fingers. Just give that a rub through get it saturated and I'm gonna go in 
and I'm going to untwist my hair doing a wind up method. Untwist it the opposite way of which I twisted. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and separate the two sections. Just like that until it is done all over. The same thing up here with the ones that I cornrowed to my head. Like I am just untwisting them the same way. And like I said, there's oil on my fingers. So each strand will have that oil on there as well. As mentioned, I like to use my little bobby pins and I like to just twist my hair back in the way that I twisted it down just on this one side to kind of give me just that little definition and I like to leave my little side curl out as well. So I'm just going in and adding a bobby pin to the opposite side of my part just to give it a little bit of added definition. I am in the process of training my hair with the side part with being natural and this definitely helps that side part come through. I'm just gonna go in on my edges with a little bit of Gorilla Snot. I love this. You can use whatever you wanna use, but this right here just seems to be working for my hair and my hair loves it. So I use probably about a pea size and I just lay that on my edges. And then I go in with my little edge brush and I just whoop down those baby hairs. Feel free to go in and pick your roots a little bit with a pick or to untwist or twist, but mine look perfect, so I'm leaving them just like this. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, this style is super easy to do, um, and I get a lot of compliments off of this. Um, this style will last me about four days. All I do at night, I don't retwist or anything. All I do is just put my bonnet on, and in the morning, I just use my water bottle and just spritz it a little bit to bring it back to life. Around the fourth day, I do have to use a hair pick just to lift up my roots, but other than that, I leave my hair just like this with the hairpins included. So yeah, super easy, and anybody can do this. And the style does take about 45 minutes for you to do, but 45 minutes and it lasts four days. I think that's awesome. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you're notified each time I post a video. Until next time, you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!